Hello everyone, I'm Rocky and uh, in this session I'm going to discuss with you the question number 14 and it's on page number 93 of chapter number 3 classification of elements and periodicity in properties. So let's see what the question is all about. The question is what is the significance of terms isolated gaseous atom and ground state while defining the ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy. So when we are defining ionization enthalpy or electron gain enthalpy, we almost and most oftenly we use the term isolated gaseous atom and ground state. So what is the significance of these of the two terms? See the isolated uh, what we um, Ionization enthalpy को enthalpy को जब हम define करते हैं कैसे define करते हैं? Ionization enthalpy is the energy required to remove an electron from an isolated gaseous atom in its ground state. Okay, हम इस तरह से define करते हैं. Although जो atoms होते हैं gaseous state में वो widely spread up होते हैं. Fine. Although the atoms are widely separated in the gaseous state, but there is yeah, there are some amount of attractive forces among the atom. Although jo gaseous state mein atoms hote hain, wo widely separated hote hain, lekin fir bhi there is some amount of attractive forces possessing between those atoms. Fine. So to, to determine the ionization enthalpy, to determine the ionization enthalpy, it is impossible. It is impossible to isolate a single atom. Fine, but the force of attraction can be further reduced. But the force of attraction can be further reduced by lowering the pressure. For this reason, the term isolated gaseous atom is used in the definition of ionization enthalpy. I hope now uh, the thing, uh, the significance of the term isolated gaseous atom why we use in ionization enthalpy processor is clear to you. Okay, now moving on to the second term. See, the ground state of an atom refers to the most stable state of an atom. Ground state uh, kisi bhi atom ki ground state ko uh, we refer just as a most stable state of that atom. Thik hai? If an isolated gaseous atom, if an isolated gaseous atom is in its ground state, then the less amount of energy would be required. Agar isolated gaseous atom apne ground state mein hai, to humme bohut hi thodi energy deni padegi to remove the electron from it. Thik hai? Therefore, for comparison purposes, ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy must be determined for an isolated gaseous atom and its ground state. Fine. So, I hope these two terms, uh, isolated gaseous atom and ground state is clear to you. Fir bhi, koi bhi kisi bhi tarain ki doubt ho, then please do ask your doubts in the space given below. Well, this is me, Raki, and this is it for me, and it's the time to say you all goodbye.